welcome to our lesson on graphing quadratic inequalities. For graphing quadratic inequalities, much like graphing linear inequalities, the main thing to keep in mind is that drawing the parabola itself is the same steps as drawing the regular parabola, so you would follow all the same strategy. So here I have um, our y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to follow the same rules that we would follow if it was a normal parabola equation. So first thing, uh, we want to find our y-intercept, our axis of symmetry, our vertex, our roots if we can, minimum, maximum. We're not going to worry about domain or range for these because it's a little harder to just label the domain and range for these particular uh, piece of information, but the other thing I want to highlight here is to remember when we have or equal to inequalities, we have a solid line, so or equal to inequalities would be like drawing a normal parabola, and then normal inequalities, the strictly strict inequalities greater than, less than, they will have a dotted line. After you have your parabola graphed, you're going to pick a test point that's inside the parabola and a test point that's outside the parabola. I recommend picking points that are either on the origin or the x or the y axis uh, because they bring you uh, easy math operations to do because you'll have like a zero involved and whatnot. So let's go into this. So first one. Example A says y is greater than x squared minus 8x plus 7. So for this one, uh, remember, first easiest one to grab is our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is going to be the point 0, 7. So on our graph, the point 0, 7 at, on the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. This graph gets a little off. Uh, but if you just count, you'll find it. Then the next thing is the axis of symmetry. So A is 1, B is negative 8, C is 7. So remember, it's negative B over 2A. So negative of negative 8 over 2 times 1 is going to be 8 over 2 which is 4. So we have an axis of symmetry at 1, 2, 3, 4. For our vertex, we're going to plug in 4 for x. When you grab the vertex, you can do it using an equal sign because you're just finding that point. So we're going to have y equals 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 7. So y equals 16 minus 32 plus 7. 16 minus 32 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 7 is negative 9. So our vertex is the point 4, negative 9. Since x squared is positive, it's going to be a minimum. It's going to open up. And remember, our minimum is at that y value. So we need the point. That is not the right spot for that. Four. So four. Two, negative nine. There's our vertex. Uh, next, we're going to have, uh, we can graph our mirrored point here. So four spaces away on this side, the mirrored point. And then our roots. So we want to see if there's, um, I always recommend checking if you can factor it normally first. So x squared minus 8x plus 7. So equals 0. We do have this, so 7 is 1 times 7, 
but if they are both negative, negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7, negative 1 plus negative 7 is negative 8. So we have x minus 1 equals 0, sorry, and x minus 7, x minus 1 equals 0, x minus 7 equals 0, And that gives us x equals 1 and x equals 7. So our roots are so our roots are the points 1, 0, and 7, 0. So that means we can also graph x-intercepts here. 1, 0, and 7, 0 would be here. So next, we can start drawing our parabola. So it's y is greater than, so that means we're going to have a dotted line when we make our parabola here. And I would get rid of your axis of symmetry after you've used it to make your mirror point, because it's just going to make things weird when you're doing your shading and drawing things. So now that we have this, we want a point inside and outside of our parabola. So a point inside, I would say, is definitely this point here at 0, 3. Sorry, 3, 0. And then the origin is on the outside, so I would pick the origin for your other one. And you want to plug them in and see which one makes your inequality true. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this over here so we can do our test points. So we have 0, 0. We plug in 0 for y and 0 for x. So 0 is greater than 0 squared minus 8 times 0 plus 7. 0 squared is 0 minus 8 times 0 is 0 plus 7. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 plus 7 is 7. So that says 0 is greater than 7. That's not true, so it's not going to be shaded on the outside. However, you do want to make sure you test everything just in case. So the other point I chose was the point 3, 0. So 0. Zero is greater than three squared minus eight times three plus seven. Three squared is nine, eight times three is twenty-four. Nine minus twenty-four would be negative fifteen. And then negative 15 plus 7 is negative 8. 0 is greater than negative 8, so that means we would shade where that point is that's inside the parabola. So when you shade, you're going to shade the inside of your parabola. All right, next one. So y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 4x plus 6. So once again, Easiest one to grab first is your y-intercept. For us, it's going to be the point zero, 06. So 6 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Axis of symmetry. Remember, A is 1. B for this is negative 4. And C is 6. So it's going to be opposite of B over... 2a, which is going to be negative of negative 4 over 2 times 1. So 4 over 2 is 2. So our axis of symmetry is at 2 on the x-axis. Right, next plug 2 into our formula. So it's going to give us 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 6. 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times 2 is 8, plus 6. 4 minus 8 is negative 4, negative 4 plus 6 is positive 2. So our vertex is at the point 2, 2. We can draw our mirror here, and for the sake of the inequalities, 
if you notice that you don't have a root. So for this one, you'll notice it's going to open up like this. And I did draw the solid line. You can tell it'll be solid line because we have greater than or equal to. If you aren't going to have roots, so this one's not because it doesn't cross the x-axis, so we don't have x-intercepts. Um, I don't recommend doing the work for that. So don't worry about doing the roots for this question because you won't have real roots. And for this activity, it's more about drawing the parabola. And sometimes the roots help you draw them, but if you don't have roots that you're going to be able to plot, then they're not going to help you draw the parabola. So we're going to skip the roots part here and we're going to do our points. So we're going to grab one outside. That's the origin. Um, six, seven. Let's grab the point eight, zero. So that points on the y axis. So zero, zero, and zero, eight. So zero is greater than or equal to. 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 6. Zero minus 0 is 0. 0 plus 6 is 6. That doesn't work. So that means this one's probably going to work. So 8 is greater than or equal to 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 6. 0 squared is 0, minus 4 times 0 is 0, plus 6. 8 is greater than or equal to 6, so that works. So once again, this point that works is right here on the inside, so we're going to shade inside the parabola. Great, last question. So this is a negative, so y is negative, so that means it's going to face down. So y-intercept at the point 0, 8. One, two, so 0, 8, even though the numbers don't line up, if you count, that's where 0, 8 is. Axis of symmetry at negative b over 2a, so negative of negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. 4 over negative 2 is negative 2. So axis of symmetry at negative 2. So y-intercept is going to reflect over here. And then our vertex. So we're going to plug in. negative of negative 2 squared. So this one, because that negative's outside, that goes after the squaring, minus 4 times negative 2 plus 8. So negative 4 minus 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 plus 8. Negative 4 plus 8 plus 8, so I simplified minus negative 8. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. So our vertex is at the point negative 2, 12. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 9, 10, 11, 12. This will have roots because it's going to go down like this. So let's graph our roots to help us draw as well. Um, so first, let's start by factoring out negative 1. So we, we would pull out negative 1. That's going to turn minus 4 into plus 4 and negative 8. So let's see if there's 8 is 1 and 8 and 2 and 4. 1 would be positive, 1 would be negative. Okay. Neither combination of those will make it factorable by factoring. That's what that did. Make it factorable. So if we wanted to do this, we would have to use quadratic formula. 
So we're not going to get super nice roots, but we could get a decimal to help us out a little bit. So we have opposite of b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. a is negative 1, b is negative 4, c is 8. So negative 8 plus or minus the square root. Oops, nope. Negative of negative 4. So 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 8 over 2 times negative 1. Four squared is 16. This will be plus 4 times 8 is 32 over negative 2. Sixteen plus thirty-two would be forty-eight. Sixteen times three is forty-eight. So that's going to give us four plus or minus. 48 can be broken down into the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So 4 square root of 3 over negative 2. And then that negative 2 can divide evenly into the both of these. So it would be 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2 plus or minus negative 2 squared of 3. And then we can figure this out. So negative 2 plus negative 2 squared of 3 and negative 2 minus negative 2 squared of 3. And this part, you can just put in the calculator to figure out what kind of number you would get. So that's around, I would do negative 5.5. .5. One point five. So we can plot one, two, three, four. Here's negative five point five, and here's one point five. So that gives us additional points to plot as well. All right. So it's a y is greater than. So we're gonna have. dotted parabola and then the origin is inside and then let's do 0 0.30 so our equal inequality is 0 is greater than negative 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 8. 0 is greater than 0 minus 0 plus 8. 0 is greater than 8. Okay, so origin does not work, so most likely we're not going to shade inside because that's where the origin is. However, if we do the point 3, 0, we would have 0 is greater than negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 3 plus 8. 0 is greater than negative 9 plus 
it's a positive 3. Minus 4 times 3. So minus 12 plus 8. Negative 9 minus 12 is negative 21. Negative 21 plus 8 would be negative 13. 0 is greater than negative 13. So that means the outside of the parabola is where we'll shade. So we'll shade everywhere outside. And then the inside would be the part that I've got left alone. That is the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in at the end of this video.